Hello, this is Skylar, and this is my second episode in programming the LEGO Mindstorms NXT using Robot C. Very quickly, this is my friend Discord's music. Um, so yeah, if you like it, check out his SoundCloud. Alright, so today we're doing Playtone and while loops. So, I'll start a new program. Uh, first things first, uh, you want to get task main and I'll save the program and uh, very quickly just make sure um, notice this right here it says um, that in the function library is not available until a user program has been compiled this is currently after you can't compile a program until you save the program so I'll just save this program and uh, we'll get right to work so hit F7 compiles the program boom all this stuff comes here and this stuff's kinda useful uh, I'm going to go to sound and intrinsics and there's this function which is already built in because it's intrinsic and it's called playtone frequency um, well it's called playtone and it has uh, arguments frequency and duration and 10 msec ticks so what this means is I can use I can just type out playtone and you can see it's uh, right there and inside I can put a give it a frequency and give it a duration. And so the frequency, um, I'm just going to pick 1000 hertz. That's what we're dealing with. Because um, that's a nice audible tone. And um, then I'm going to do a duration in 10 millisecond ticks. So if I wanted to go for a second, that would mean 100. Um, and the weird thing about this um, is that just for some reason, just personal experience, I need to actually wait that long as well because Playtone it does not delay, it does not hold the program up. One, it, once th this command this is actually telling another integrated circuit on the NXT to play the tone and it doesn't wait for completion before it goes on to the next thing it wants to do. And so if this isn't there then the Mindstorm says okay, play tone and so it tells the integrated circuit to play tone but then it's done and so it you don't really hear the tone because your program closes before you can actually hear what's being broadcasted. So I'll put this tape. Wait, 10 msec, and you can either you could do the like one msec, but that would mean that, that number has to be 10 times this number. And so I'll just be consistent and do wait 10 m 10 msec instead of wait one msec. And you, if you don't know about that, um, wait one msec, you can go to last tutorial and I talk about it there. So. Um, pretty simple, right? So, I'll go ahead and download to the NXT, and you should be able to hear something. Uh, yeah, that was, that worked. Okay, and this sounds about a second. So, yeah, and if we make this number bigger, the frequency would go up, and frequency, when frequency goes up, the tone goes up. And so, you can hear a higher tone. Yeah, that's about right. Not that I'm a guitar tunist or anything, um, or an NXT tunist. Alright, so yeah, that's basically Playtone in a nutshell. If we wanted to go longer, like um, two seconds, make that longer and that longer, download the program, and yeah, that was definitely longer. So yeah, that's that's Playtone. Um, and you can find other stuff in here, like um, like a sneak peek, you could go to the motors and variables, and you could find all kinds of stuff in here that, I mean, this is how I learned Robot C is, by looking at their function library, because it's, a lot of the stuff is in the, it's all about the functions, baby. Um, right, so now we'll do while loops. So, if I wanted to play like, a, like, if I want to program a game, I'm gonna, probably going to have a while loop. There's something called event-based programming, and that kind of circumvents while loops, but it's really hard to do that unless um, you already have like the .NET framework working for you or other things. And so while loops in games are still pretty mainstream, and in robots as well. And so I'm going to start, and, and here's how to type it. You've got while, and inside these brackets you have a comparison that's being made. Um, like if I have, whoop, if I've got, I could have this like while uh, 50 equals equals 50, and that basically checks does this value equal that value. 
And if that is the case, if this result is true, then the NXT will run code that we put in here. And so that could be um, that. Um, and you can do this with variables as well. Like if I have int friend ship equals 9001, int magic equals 9001. And notice um, here I've got a double equals sign, and here's just one equals. One equals means set the left value to what the right value is. Double equals says just look at them and see if they're the same. And so, like if that was there, um, well, you can't really set 50 to anything, but like if I have friendship magic, basically what this means is set friendship equal to magic. This means check if friendship is equal to magic. Um, and so what happens is it doesn't really see friendship, like it's not comparing F-R-I-E-N-D-S-I or S-H-I-P to M-A-G-I-C, it's comparing the values behind friendship and magic. And so the value behind friendship is over 9,000, it's 9,001, and the value over, the value behind magic is 9,001 as well. And so it says, okay, 9,001 is equal to 9,001, and so it's going to do this stuff. And I'm not really changing those values, and so it's always going to be 9,001 compared against 9,001, and so this could go on forever, and so, like, um, I'll put this back to one second. Um, if this lasts longer than one second, then this while loop's working, because, um, because if, 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 if the while loop, if, if these two things don't equal each other, then this is going to say, okay, I'm done with you, and end the program. And so, we can see, or we can hear, and so, um, yeah, it's definitely going on for a long time. And so, basically, like, the only thing that would get out of this is if, like, a power failure or a virus or something. Um, yeah. And so that's that part. Um, what really makes this interesting is if you put in, like, uh, we, we can make this go for a very specific amount of time. We could do, like, um, int int time equals zero. And then what we could do is we could say, well, time is less than 10,000. Well, we'll just do 3,141. And then we'll say time equals time plus one. So every iteration, every time this thing happens, like an iteration is when, um, when it executes one time. And so each time the program does this line, and then this line, and then this line. Time is added 1. And so it goes from, time would go from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, blah, 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 blah. Once time reaches 3, 1, 4, 1, then this comparison returns false. It says no. 3, 1, 4, 1 is not less than 3, 1, 4, 1. We gotta go. And so the while loop, the NXT says, okay, so I'm done with this whole block of code. I'm going to get out of it, I'm going to jump past it, and oh, what do you know, it's time for me to end. So, um, I'm going to put this down to 10, so I don't have to wait all day. And so, conceivably, this right here, actually, I'm going to make time a, a smaller number, so we don't have to wait, so we don't have to wait as long. Um, like 1,000. Um, but actually, that's 10 seconds right there. So I'm going to add 10 right there. And down here is uh, global variables. It says time equals 9001. That's, that's, that's a lie. Time is zero. And once we start the program, it'll fix that. But you can see when I press the button, time will, the number will go from zero to a thousand. And there we go. And so we can look at the global variables in real time if we need to look at it, if we need to see a number, but we can't get to the screen and we didn't want to display it to the screen. Um, so that's cool, maybe, possibly. Um, I'm going to put this to 1, and I'm going to change this to 6,000. So right now, this will count up to 6,000. Um, and it'll do this every 10 milliseconds. It'll um, run this whole code. Now, I'm going to change 2,000 to time. 
So it's going to play the tone 0 for 10 milliseconds, then it's going to play the tone 1, and then 2, and then 3, and 4. And so the, the hertz, the frequency, is going to go from 0 to 6,000. So the tone is also going to go from 0 to 6,000. So it, conceivably, it sh the, the sound we're going to hear should be something like... And uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Let's, let's see. And, um, and notice time down here. Um, here we go. Captain, I can't hold him any longer! And um, you get the idea. So um, I'm going to speed this thing up a little bit. I'm going to go back to adding 10 right there because it's getting tedious. And there we go. That's a bit faster. And then end the program. Time is 6,000. So, yeah, that's while loops. Um, we could count down, like we could set time, the initial value of time to 6,000. We could do the condition while time is greater than zero. We could uh, say time equals time minus 10. And it should count, it should uh, go from high to low. And you can see, it counts down. And there we go. So, yeah, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with um, with while loops. While loops, I mean, I, I use, I'm a programmer for maybe six years, and I use while loops all the time. Maybe not as often as for loops, but we'll get there too. And, yeah, that's basically, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I, ans I try to answer all the comments that are worth answering not trolls. And yeah, I hope you liked it. I'll post another one soon.